New Line Cinema presents a startling new vision from the director of The Crow. On the edge of reality and the threshold of illusion lies a world beyond all imagination. No way out! Can you see? It's part thriller. It's also a fantasy. It's also a fairy story. It's also a science fiction film. The film starts with a guy coming out of the bar, and he's got no idea who he is at all. He's just got a little thing of blood between his eyes. And there's a dead girl in the next room. You are confused, aren't you? Frightened. That's all right. I can help you. Much of the film for him is a quest to find out who he is, and more importantly, it's on the run from the police because of the string of killings. Hold it right there, mister. Wait, you have the wrong man. Stand aside, please. I didn't kill anyone. Right now, while you are as a suspect, turn yourself in. And listen to whatever you have to say. You're not going to believe what I have to say. Try me. Clay Plumstead. He's assigned to a murder case, which was actually the province of one of his friends. And his friend starts coming apart at the scene, so they assign Bumstead to the case. She was alive when I left her. Stop playing games with me, Murdoch. Stop telling me no, lies. No, I'm not telling you lies. Help me out. Make me understand. In the search for his memories to find out who he is, he sees that everyone is asleep in the town. It's like the, the clocks have stopped and everyone, like people on phones or in cars or in restaurants or standing in the street, have just dropped. This keeps on happening at regular intervals. And what he sees is that these strange creatures who are bald, white faces, and all dressed in black, come out in groups and start shifting and moving people around. Something very, very strange is happening. This isn't a normal city. Dr. Schreiber, I presume. It's you. Hey, come on. It's no way to greet a patient, doctor. If that's what you are, huh? Doctor? Mr. Murdoch, please. I... What is happening here? Why is everyone asleep? Shh, please, keep your voice down. He's a psychologist that that was used by the aliens to work with them on concepts of memory and memory exchange. Failed to report in, yes. I was frightened. I have a weak heart, you know. We found this in his hotel room. Must we reproduce Mr. Murdoch's memories again? I play Mr. Hand, if you can see my hands are quite long. He's one of the, the strangers. This man, Murdoch is more powerful than we thought. He is becoming like us. So we must become like him. The good doctor has done as we asked. The life and times of John Murdoch. What exactly is in this, doctor? All the answers you've been looking for, John, I swear to you. He is the one human alive that is aware of the experiment. This city, everyone in it, is their experiment. They mix and match our memories as they see fit. It's got its own style, and although we have human references, it's a manufactured reality. We're creating everything. We're building the whole, the whole world that it takes place in. And that basically boils down to, to constructing a lot of sets. I mean, we had something like 50 sets in this film. It's, it's really a timeless city. It relies on anything between the 1940s right up to the 70s to create this very unsettling world. It's this world in decay. It's this kind of like chaotic, askew world. I, I've never worked on a set that was that kind of cool looking. I think that the style of the picture is so unique. I think, I think basically audiences are bored with very simplistic narratives, and I think if you give them something a little more interesting, they, they're grateful for it. Yeah.